Felicia, James Patterson tells me he's not a member of Mar-a-Lago, but he says he wouldn't mind dropping by on his neighbor, President Donald Trump, to try and to get him to be more involved in local education efforts. In seven trips to Palm Beach County, the president has barely strayed from his estate. President Donald Trump often shuttles between Mar-a-Lago and his golf clubs, but there's another side to Trump's glittering South Florida escape. You can see with the school today. Yeah. This is not, you know, it's not, um, uh, it's, it's not Palm Beach on the ocean. It's a different, different environment. James Patterson has captured the polarity of life in the Palm Beaches in his writing and film. Newburgh, New York is a lot like Pahokee. It's a kind of a poor town. My father grew up in a Newburgh poorhouse. Wednesday, I talked with Patterson during a school visit in Boynton Beach. The world-renowned author and Palm Beacher says he wants to get kids excited about reading over the summer. Um, Where's my hat? <laughs> Your hat? Do you have a hat? You're going to pull out a hat right now? I have a relevant hat. Literacy is clearly a passion. Let's see what the hat says. Here's my, this is not a political message. Okay. <laughs> what does the hat say? Uh, make America read again. Patterson says he'd like some of the attention Trump brings to South Florida to have a positive impact on local kids. I live near Miralago. Would you ever <laughs> consider reaching out to the president and say, hey, you're a member of this community, get involved? Uh, sure. If I had the opportunity, I would, I would definitely talk to, to President Trump and, and talk about education. Our records show Trump has held numerous galas and charity golf tournaments, but he rarely ventures from places he owns. This week, government websites ripped down articles about Mar-a-Lago after a watchdog group complaint alleged the State Department resources were being used to promote a private business owned by the president. That watchdog group claims that those articles were really a promotion and they say it was a misuse and abuse of taxpayer funds.